Hello, my name is Fancy and welcome in tutorial where I will quickly show you, like really quickly, show you how to make an uh, animation of walk, mean, which means walk cycle animation, which you can see right on the screen. You can spend time editing your character, animating food by food and do all this pretty boring stuff, but honestly I am not interested in it and I'm pretty sure that you are, e you are not either because it just takes a lot of time. Let me show you a little trick how we can actually do it fast. For our little trick we will use Mixamo, which you are probably already familiar with if you have seen anything on my channel. So let's get to it. Link in the description, you can just sign in. Alright, once you sign in you will see this nice screen. There you can choose character or animations. But you probably already have a character, which means that you will click here, upload character and add here your own character. There will be a quick guide that will tell you how to rig your character. But in my case I will choose this wonderful passive marker man. And I have it now even with textures. That's just wonderful. So let's go to animations and set it to oh, not a set it just right here walk or walking and let's get some normal walking that looks good what do you think pretty normal casual walk so let's set it in place and you can play with these settings a little bit for example I want him to walk a little bit slower just casually and overdriving a little bit more maybe I give it he's walking slowly but moving his legs really fast. No, that would be really stupid actually, so let's have it like this. Here you can edit uh, how many frames there will be, but that's all uh, very understandable. So I will just download it. Well, now we are finally in Blender, so let's import our character. We'll import FBX and click on walking, because that's the name of the animation uh, we have downloaded. And here we go. Let's click G and Z and scale it, not scale it, just move it where we want him. Something like this sounds great. Now let's scale this thing a little bit up. There's just a floor I have put here to demonstrate a little bit better how it looks like or how it all looks like. So let's involve how it will look like. Not bad, but he's sort of in place, as you can see. So what we will do, we will actually select armature, which are all these points and joints, and click on zero, set keyframing, click G, and move it just a little bit, because that will create keyframe. The other way is to click here and uh, set it to create keyframe, but I actually found this faster. And let's say that I want him in frame 100, to move somewhere about here. Let's see what it will do. Nice, as you can see, but the problem is that our keyframes from Cycle of Walk is only to frame 30. So what we will do, we will actually copy all that. Move it a little bit. Oh, that's not necessary. Click I can Control C to copy it and Control V to insert. And then you can do it as many times as you need. Just make sure that you match speed with, uh, but that you match speed of moving with speed of walk. But there is one more and a way better way to move our character. Let me show it. All right, our character is moving in place again. So what we will do? We will click on view from above, create curve, and path. That was spawned somewhere where you cannot see it, so let's, let's click see through mode and bring it a little bit up. Rotate it a little bit. And now click tap and edit, which, you, which will get you to edit mode. And now you can move that part you have just created. But make sure that you are in a view from above because otherwise it would be all over the place and our character would be going up and down, which we don't want in this case. If you want to create another points, just click E as extrude. That's nice. 
but I will show you a little trick. If it happens that your everything is all over the place, you click you you just quickly select all the points or the vertexes with clicking A, set click S and Z and zero. Everything is flat again. Just a little trick. Alright, now select armature, select armature and then select our path. Click Ctrl P and set it to follow path. Let's see what it will do. As you can see, it nicely follow our way. The problem is it looks like he's ice skating, which may be what we want, but not in this case. So again, the same approach, you just copy these frames and paste them again. Again, little trick, once you did, will do, copy it again and paste it. Nicely done, what do you think? That's what we wanted. We have overdone it a little bit, so our keyframes end in 124, 124. So what we will do, we will click on path, click here, and uh, on, under path animation, you can select in uh, what frame the animation will end. Here you can edit speed of the animation. So let's select it to 124. So now it should be all just right. So who or maybe what did you make walk? I want to know it. <laughs> Honestly, write down the comments what did you make to walk? Or even better, check out descriptions. There is uh, my link on my Instagram, post it on Instagram and tag me in your stories or somewhere. I'm, I would love to share it and love to see it. So that's about it. If you have, I, if you have any idea what, uh, I'm not, what uh, tutorial you would like to see, write it down in comments as well. And that's about it. See ya. Fancy out.